My name is Janine Yanish Jones, and I serve as the executive director for the Health Alliance for the Uninsured. And we help individuals get access to health care who would uh, otherwise be unable to obtain it. And so it's really our privilege to get to work with about 92 free and charitable clinics in the state, providing um, health access to health care to uninsured individuals, which sadly we have over 500,000 uninsured in Oklahoma, the state of Oklahoma, as well as the additional um, Sooner Care Medicaid participants who will be ineligible this year due to the public health emergency, which adds another additional 300,000-ish to the uninsured rules. And then we also, many of our clinics do serve individuals who are um, undocumented. So it brings our number upwards by the end of the year to almost 1 million people in Oklahoma that are uninsured. And this is really a tragedy and a crisis. And so we are grateful to be a part of that solution at the Health Alliance for the Uninsured. One of our very important programs that we have is a healthcare services navigation program where we help connect individuals to um, health at care, whatever that is, through the healthcare safety net. So some people may be eligible for tribal health or um, uh, sliding scale uh, coverage with a uh, federally qualified health center like Variety Care. Some people may be eligible for a market placement plan and didn't know that. So we're, we're helping to get people connected to some type of access. If all of those fail, we're that last stop gap to try to get people into a free clinic. And we have wonderful clinic partners that we work with that serve um, a multitude of people and we are, our team is very savvy in making sure that they get connected to that um, service that they need and it's a closed loop referral so we make sure that they got that service and that they were able to get connected with the free clinic and if that wasn't a good fit for them we'll find them another free clinic home. Um, secondly we provide specialty care referrals so we work with the free clinics if they have an individual in their clinic that needs a higher level of service there's over 250 providers in Oklahoma who have offered to donate services like hip replacement, um, imaging, just a variety of higher level services that the free clinics can't provide, but that free clinic still gets to be that primary care home for the individual after they have this level of care. Probably about 90% of the patients we serve have some type of long-term chronic health care issue that needs to be um, managed you know, year round. So it's really important for them to have these services. Thirdly, we um, provide prescription assistance. We work with pharmaceutical companies. We get grant funding to be able to purchase medications for the free clinics to provide to their um, clients and patients. And then we also have an uninsured diabetic program, helping with a variety of interventions for the free clinics, including behavioral health, to help people um, have quality of life in a more holistic way. And um, last, but very importantly as well, we are, um, house the Oklahoma Charitable Clinic Association here, which is the statewide association to provide resources and training and supplies to the free clinics. So all of these services are really important to the state. Um, Health Alliance for the Uninsured has been working really hard in recent months to build new relationships with leadership in the legislature to help help educate and help them learn about Health Alliance for the Uninsured and the population that we serve. We serve a very um, vulnerable population that's disproportionately more unhealthy than um, our insured friends. So it really impacts the state when individuals are not getting access to health care or delaying their health care. Um, so we want um, to be a part of the state's healthcare landscape. And I feel like the free clinics are often forgotten. And I know that there's a lot going on at the Capitol always. And so it's really wonderful to have this opportunity to be a voice for people that generally don't get to have a voice. And um, so it's really incumbent upon HAU and our friends to educate lawmakers about how investing in the population we serve produces a very real return on investment and saves the state substantial money later on. Investing in our population also helps the state in trying to solve our workforce shortage issues. Getting people healthier means people are capable of gainful employment, they have healthier families, they're regularly attending school, and contributing to our communities in meaningful ways that will continue to improve our state's health outcomes. 
So thank you for the opportunity to let us share today. And thank you for thinking of our most vulnerable population and being part of the solution to make Oklahoma a very healthy state. So thank you.